everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a Sephora plate unboxing. Um, however, I kind of have two for you guys. Now, December was such a busy month with Christmas and just, you know, everything going on. Um, I was not able to do an unboxing for the glam bag for December. So I didn't even open it and I went ahead and I saved it for this video. So we are going to be doing a uh, December versus January bag and we're going to see how consistent they are as far as, as far as the quality and products go. So we're going to go ahead and start with the December. Uh, December was a glam straight bag. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, so the first thing that I am picking out, <laughs> it's a perfume, it's the Tom Ford Black Orchid Perfume. I wonder what this smells like. Okay. Ew. I don't like that. Okay, I'm going to pass that along. <laughs> um... I don't know. Now going back into it, I kind of do. Mm, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how I feel about that. <laughs> All right, going back into the bag. Let's see. The first thing that we grab, what is this? This is a triple sec three in one from the dry bar. Um, it says amplifies, refreshes, shake extremely well and spray four to six inches from dry hair. Okay. So it is, that's right there. I've never used anything from the dry bar before. Um, it seems like a pretty good size, so I'm really happy about that. I'll be interested to try it. Going back into the bag, what is this? Ooh, Smashbox. Yeah. Okay, so we have something from Smashbox here. Um, let's see. Oh. Okay. So um, it is eyeshadow, and it does give you a little mirror, which I think is you know it's a cute idea but these are so small I hope my I don't know I hope my brush kind of fits in them so let's go ahead and swatch these oh they're really soft okay Ooh, that's pretty <gasps> I like that look at that that's really really pretty all right we're gonna have to try that on I want to use that pink shade all right, so that is two eyeshadows from Smashbox. Let's see, what is this? Oh, yay, I love this lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss, like, ever. So this is a Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. Um, looks like this is in the color Vintage. So let's go ahead and give it a nice little swatch. Oh, looks like pieces of the bag are all over this all right oh so pretty oh, oh oh I love it I love it look at that that's so pretty oh I cannot wait to put that on my lips oh, yes okay I'm, I'm I, <laughs> I wish I had time to open this in December because this bag so far is awesome Okay, so we have two items left. Let's go ahead with this one. This is Eye Basics. Oh, it's from Laura Mercier. Okay. It is, let's see, a prime and color correct to perfect canvas for the eyes in eight shades. Oh, it's an eye primer for Laura Mercier. Okay. And it's a really good size. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look how big that is. Ah, oh, wow, yes. This is in the color wheat. Let's see what this will look like if it goes on my eyes. So that's the color. Spread that out. So that will be what my eye base looks like. Hmm. Interesting. We'll see. We'll try it out. So we will get to that portion in a little bit. 
All right, so going back into the bag, the very last thing that we have is, ooh, a Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm prism cream. All over self adjusting and illuminator and targeted highlighter. And it is a really, really nice size. Okay, so I'm excited about this. So, hmm, that's it, it's right there. So we'll have to see how that works, but it smells really good. All right, so let's go back over the bag for December. Man, December was a huge hit. All right, so we got the Laura Mercier Eye Primer, we got the Peter Thomas Roth, highlighter um we have the anastasia beverly hills lip gloss i'm so excited for that uh, the smashbox little uh, duo eyeshadow and um of course the perfume and then the item from the dry bar so december really hit it out of the park i got really really good brands um this is everything that i would definitely use so I hope January's bag is just as good. So we will see. Let's go ahead and open up January's. I'm gonna set this aside. All right, so this is January's bag and it does say, Happy You Year. <laughs> that is awesome because everybody should be happy with themselves. Everybody should be confident in themselves and just it's a good thing to love yourself and I hope that everybody can find that for themselves this year um, so diving right into the bag uh, let's see so okay instead of a perfume they sent the Bri Bri Briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask for the hair um, which I enjoy these hair masks so I'm excited about that all right, but going into the bag to start off with our products. What is this? Okay, for Smash, Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So I have not tried this since it came out. I thought it was actually pretty pricey. So I'm kind of excited to try it as um, a trial size. So we open it up. Oh, it's actually a pretty decent size um, of this right here. Can you see? I wonder if the original bottle does come with like a little spray top. Um, either way, I'm excited to try that. So that is fun. All right, going back into the bag. Oh, there's something kind of big in here, but we'll save that. Um, this is a Lancome mascara base. Okay, so um, you put this on before you do the mascara and it's supposed to link, help lengthen your lashes. If I'm not mistaken so it actually is white and there is your tip right there we're gonna have a lot of stuff to play with all right going back into the bag we have what is this <gasps> yay oh yes glam glow super cleanse clearing cream to foam cleanser I love glam glow I'm super excited to try this I have not tried this so I will be testing this out right after we test everything else and we'll see if it works all right and oh two items left all right this is Clinique prep start pep start excuse me eye cream um, the size is pretty tiny <laughs> it's very tiny eye creams are always a plus to have and for the last item, which is a really big item, it is the Ole Hendrickson Hydroclay Detox Mask. Ooh, so I can't wait to try that. It's a really good size, too. Look at that. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> this is awesome. I have so many products here. I cannot wait to try with you guys. So in January's bag, we received the Ole Hendrickson um, Detox Mask, the Glam Glow Cleanser. Um, we received the Smashbox Primerizer, <laughs> the Lancome 
um, eye base mascara, the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream, and then of course the hair mask. So I would say that both bags are pretty equal. I am actually really, really happy with both bags and I'm definitely going to continue my subscription. So let's go ahead and get into everything. I'm going to try these products on and we will see um, just how I feel about everything that I got. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys. So we are to the try on portion of this video. I cannot wait to start digging into this. Um, so we're actually just going to go ahead and start with the Laura Mercier um, eye primer that they sent me. And let's have at it. <laughs> I like, oh, they actually picked out a really good color. I was a little uncertain at first, um, but this kind of does neutralize my eyes and it matches everything really well. So, um, yeah. So we are off to a good start. So um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, use a couple colors and get my eyes started so I can use these Smashbox eyeshadows for my lid. Um, I'm gonna do that and I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and I got my eyes ready. I didn't do anything too crazy, just um, like a little bit of light colors right up here just because I do want to go ahead and test this out. I don't want anything overpowering because I do want to see um, what this looks like on the lids. So um, we are actually going to go in with this pink color right here. It just called my name when I saw it, and I'm just going to use my finger to apply it. Is really pretty but it is very very subtle we're actually gonna go ahead with the other color let's see if that's better okay so the the colors applied really really nicely the pink is definitely on the lighter side once I put it on my eyes so I don't know if that's billable because I just went ahead and went over with the second shade um, which turned out really nicely so we're just gonna go ahead and move on um, the next item I'm going to test out where to go where to go where to go where to go there it is we're going to go ahead and apply the uh, Smashbox photo finish primerizer um, so there's supposed to be a primer and a moisturizer so the original um, packaging does come with like a pump um this does not <laughs> this does not so just a little glass bottle there we go and just do a couple couple dabs ah. hmm. feels really nice not sticky or anything I don't know why I thought it would be sticky but hmm. it's smooth we are all primed and moisturized my skin looks really really my skin looks really smooth like it's ready to go and I'm just gonna take my makeup forever um, foundation all right so i am really liking how this is making my foundation apply um it doesn't look powdery at all looks really 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 smooth doesn't really do anything for my pores. I can definitely still see all of my pores, but um, my face doesn't look dried out. It looks really healthy and moisturized. So good job, Smashbox. <laughs> I don't know if I would buy it still just because of the price, but um, I think I'm definitely gonna use this sample completely full. 
Let's go ahead and jump back to the eyes. We are going to use our Lancome uh, Moisture Mascara Boost. Very cold, very wet feeling. I don't know how it's supposed to feel. I've never used one of these before. I wouldn't say it's comfortable. what I'm thinking about this all right as I'm applying it I see a lot of the product is being stuck inside of the bristles and it's not really coming off onto the eyelashes it's really just deep down in there so I don't I don't know if that that might make your product go really really fast if you were to purchase this I don't know if it's the um, the applicator itself that is doing that or what all right it says do not wait till it is dry so I'm gonna go ahead in with my Lancome Big Masseur mascara okay so I will say that maybe I can see a little bit difference in the length as far as volume goes I'm not really sure um, Maybe I should have done one eye at a time because it did seem to dry down kind of fast. Um, and you're supposed to apply the mascara when it, it is wet. So that could have done something to it. But other than that, the mascara looks really, really nice. So I'll just keep testing that out. <laughs> we are going to use is this Peter Thomas Roth. Um, it says you can use it as a targeted highlighter. So we are going to try try and do that. I'm usually not a liquid highlighter kind of girl, um, but we will see. I put way too much, way too much. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, I said I wasn't a liquid highlight girl, but this is nice. <laughs> this is my first time ever using a liquid highlight, so I'm impressed. And it, it's not overpowering. It looks like a, a nice, healthy glow to the face. Can you see that? Look at the glow. All right, so we're gonna finish up the makeup portion with my favorite that I was super, super excited about, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss. Once again, this is in the color Vintage. So this is such a pretty color. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. <laughs> I knew I was gonna be in love. If I could have um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in every single color, I would so do that just because there it's really soft on the lips, it's not goopy, it's just it's perfect and I can get it to last it lasts a very, very long time. And I mean, look at this color. This color is stunning. All right, guys, so I'm really, really liking everything as far as the makeup portion goes. I like this liquid glow highlighter, which I did not think I was going to like, um, just because this isn't the typical highlighter that I um, go for, but I am in love with this highlight. It is gorgeous. It looks just like a natural, healthy glow. Um, the Smashbox um, eyeshadow turned out really, really nice. You know, and I said it before, I love this lip gloss and the color is gorgeous. This is just, <sighs> and then eyeshadow primer, it takes me forever to go through a whole bottle and this is a really good size. Um, the base worked really, really well. It was a good color for my skin tone, so that is perfect. Um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, um, I mean, my foundation looks really nice. And my, Aside from the pores, um, 
it just looks really moisturized and healthy and glowy and I like that. Um, this, I, like I said, I can't really tell if it worked. I might have put this on wrong. Maybe I should have done one at a time. But as far as length goes, um, I don't really see too much of a volume. But as far as length goes, I can tell a small difference. Um, so that is it. I, this is the reason that I continue to keep the subscription the subscription. I love everything about these items that I got. They are good sizes and for $10, $10, I discovered brand new products that I am going to love. So I cannot wait to continue using these. Um, the only thing I'm not going to be able to try on is this from the dry bar, which I will have to do later, and this little um, Pep Start eye cream. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go wash this all off and I'm going to use my Glam Glow Cleanser and I'm going to wash all my makeup off and then I'm going to come back and we are going to test out this detox mask. So I'll be right back. I am back. Um, my skin definitely feels clean, but it it feels like it is really, really dry. So I don't know. Also, um, <laughs> just an FYI, if you do not like a jelly bean black licorice type of smell, then you are not going to like this. I was not expecting that. It smells of pure licorice. So, um, but other than that, it did do its job. Um, I probably would not purchase a full size of this, but I will definitely use this little sample up. All right, so next we're going to try the, it's pronounced Huga from what I uh, looked up. It's H-Y-G-G-E, the Huga um, Hydroclay Detox Mask. So we are going to work with this. Um, it says, apply a thick layer to clean dry face and neck. Leave on for 10 minutes, rinse off with water, or remove with a damp cloth. So I will apply this, and then we will go back, and I will wash this off. Oh, it actually smells really, really good. <laughs> So I went ahead and just rinsed it off. Oh, my skin feels really, really smooth. I really enjoy that mask. <laughs> yes. It feels a lot smoother than it was before. You can hear my little dog, my dog's feet just. Um, so uh, I also want to say I really, really enjoyed the smell. It smells really, really nice. Um, and when you put this on, it does give you kind of like a cool, tingly sensation. So it's like, it feels that it's working. I enjoy something like that, something that you can feel actually working on your face. Um, so I love both bags. Um, I will definitely continue my subscription. I am extremely happy with Sephora Play. Um, they really have given me some excellent bags. Everything has matched in my profile that I have set and they are doing a really good job. So uh, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.